Hi, I'm Owen Robinson. I'm Jack Larkin. And I'm Shane King. I live on a dairy farm where we milk 110 cows. I'm here in our milking parlour, which we upgraded only five weeks ago. We are new entrants to dairy farming. We are currently milking 70 cows in our second year established. Despite not living on a farm, I have a keen interest in agriculture and beef production, with my family running and owning a butcher shop locally. We are students at Mercy Secondary School to Beggin in County Westmead. We are a co-educational Catholic school with 652 pupils currently attending. Ag science is a very popular leaving cert subject in our school, with roughly 50% of current fifth years taking this subject. They will learn about topics such as animal health and go on agricultural trips. Our school participates in the Certified Irish Angus Beef Schools competition annually. Last year a group from our school were successful in winning five Irish Angus calves. The girls' success has inspired us to enter this year's competition. The theme for our project is the impact of higher genetic merit Angus sires on sustainability. We think this topic should be highlighted to farmers and we hope to promote this during our project. I've grown up around Angus cattle since as long as I can remember. In recent years, I've started rearing my own commercial cattle. As of this year, I purchased two pedigree females here beside me. This first heifer I purchased in calf at the Jigginstown Angus Annual. My second heifer was purchased only recently at the Irish Aberdeen Angus Association's premier sale in Turles. She's only 13 months old. These two heifers were purchased on the basis of their Angus breed characteristics, their mothering ability, and their breed superior carcass trait. Behind me are a group of dairy bred Angus sire calves that were born on my farm. We hope to offer these wenons on sale at our local livestock mart next spring. These calves were sired by the popular AI bull Kilkeel Prime Lad, AA4743. This bull was chosen because it was easy calving figure and he boasts a dairy beef index of 112 euro. Beside me here is an Angus store heifer of my own. Her breeding consists of three quarter Angus and one quarter Frisian. She is a credit to the Angus breed and she displays how Angus cattle contrive on a low input system. This heifer here has received no concentrate since birth, making her 100% grass fed. I plan on slaughtering her in the coming days in our local key pack factory in Kilbegan, where she will qualify for a certified Irish Angus beef bone. Studies on the ABP demo farm in County Carlow have shown that bulls with higher genetic merit have produced better calves that were easier finished and more profitable. Research showed that from bull A being the worst bull and bull B being the highest genetic murat bull, there was a 46 kilo carcass weight difference and this can equal to 200 euro profit when the animal is slaughtered. We believe it is extremely important to use a high genetic merit Angus sire in your breeding program. This applies to both beef and dairy farmers. In our project we hope to make this easier for, for farmers to research and designing a website where we can make choosing your bull easier for farmers. We are currently creating a website to make choosing higher genetic merit sire bulls easier. During our project, we hope to develop this website into a very useful tool for farmers in their breeding programs. We would like to win five Irish Angus calves because I speak on behalf of three of us when I say we are extremely interested in agriculture and the Angus breed in particular which I hope is evident from our entry video. If we were to win the calves, we would have an exceptional Ag Science project for the Leaving Cert. We also believe that the research we are currently undergoing and the database we are creating will positively impact on the progression and the improvement of genetics in the Angus breed nationally. 